Welcome to CM Modular. Um, today I'm just going to go over our improved 2VCA version 2. It was released um, just last month in December and it's a straight progression from the older version 1. It's still a dual gate linear VCA based on the LM13700 chip with a few improvements. So first of all, as you can see, it's now 2HP instead of 3HP. Internally, we've improved the audio quality and also the linear response. Connections wise, it's nearly the same. So we've got a DC coupled input for voltages or audio and output and a CV input. There's also now an inverted CV input, which will invert any CV you put into it before applying it to the uh, volume of the signal. There's also one other extra feature. On the board, there's now a jumper which allows you to enable the auto offset mode. So what that does is enables a mode where when you plug a jack into the inverted CV input, it will automatically offset the entire thing by plus five volts, effectively opening up the gate. Um, but we'll come to that one a bit later. So to demo the two VCA, I've just got a fairly standard ACID voice here. I've got the VCO3340 prototype going through the VCF303 from DINSYNC. Obviously that has its own envelope. And we've got another envelope, the circuit slices, um, to control the VCA. Um, so that's going into the standard uh, CV input of this VCA. So it sounds something like this. And the input of the two VCA is good for uh, plus minus five volts, 10 volts peak to peak. If you go much over that, then it will start to drive, which can be quite nice for this acid sort of sound. So that's all pretty standard. I mean, it's a VCA. This is what it does. But, so what's handy about this uh, inverted input here is if I perhaps want to um, duck the sound in uh, sync with the kick drum. To do that, I'm using um, this SAR here just as an envelope. So it's a slow, so I'm just slowing down the release just by a little bit, keeping the attack sharp here. Um, and I've put it into this three, the 3AT because the 3AT gives me some control over um, volume or level. And it's also a multi. So it, what I put into input one is passed down to the next two. So that'll be useful later. I'm just going to take the bottom output here. And I'm going to patch that into our inverted input of this sound. So now I have the gate from the BeatStep Pro here, uh, which is playing the kick drum and it's sending the same gate to the SAR um, in here that's being uh, slewed on the release and that's I've got some control on the bottom one here of the level let me just play that see what it sounds like I'll turn that dial that back now so you can hear originally and if I start to put some of this into it There, you can hear it ducking on the beat. So it's making a bit of room in the mix for the kick drum. You can tweak that a little bit with the release. Obviously with a lower um, or longer release, it takes uh, longer for the volume to come back up after it ducks until it's nearly nothing. We want quite a lot of it though. There's always a sweet spot to get it just pumping. Right like that. And maybe dial the level back a little bit so you can hear a little bit there. Tiny bit. There we go.
So we've got a side chain ducking thing going on here. Um, it's not a full compressor. Obviously the main thing we're missing here that a compressor would have is an envelope follower. So we're not using uh, audio signals to do the ducking. We have to use a voltage, hence putting a gate through the SAR. As I mentioned earlier, there's an auto offset mode. This is not engaged in this patch. So the next patch or, or part of this patch that I'll show you um, uses the auto offset mode on the two VCA. So here's a, I don't know if it's in focus, but a um, two VCA. And there's a little jumper here, three pin jumper. And at the moment, this is set in the standard mode that you've been listening to. Works like pretty much like a standard VCA with a CV inverted CV input. We put it onto these other two pins to the right. Now that is in auto offset mode. And what I've got here below this is the ST modular sum two. So I have uh, uh, my drum group, which is just hi hats and clap, um, coming from one channel going into one channel of the sum two rather. And then I'm sending that on the effects out, or effect send from the sum two, and that's going into the um, Pico DSP. Got a very long uh, reverb setting. You'll hear that in a minute. And because this has a stereo out, um, I'm using two channels, both gates of this two VCA here. So they're going at the input, and then they're coming back to the effects uh, return of the sum two. But all you can hear right now is the dry signal. That's because, well, there's no CV, it's closed. Um, if I put a signal in here, or rather no signal in here, just a jack, into this inverted CV input. Now it's in um, auto offset mode. There, you can hear it's wide open now. So that's effectively added five volts. It's the same as putting a, a solid five volts into the normal CV input, which gives it unity gain. So whatever um, signal you put in is going in, you're gonna get um, the same level out. So it just opens it up. And then from there we can apply CVs um, to, to either, to the, C, to the CV or the inverted CV input. Again, it's the same gate coming from the Beat Step Pro that was going to, or still is going to the bass drum. It's coming to the SAR, it is slewed a bit into the 3AT and molded. So we can take um, this spare output here and this output, oh, sorry, the middle output, and they're both going at the inverted CV. I'll turn that up a bit. There you go. Now you can hear. That reverb is being uh, heavily um, compressed or ducked with the kick drum. Unfortunately, due to the way I'm recording this, I'm using the stereo inputs and I'm using one channel for my voice and one channel for the modulus. So you're just listening to it in in mono right now, but it's a it's a nice reverb. What I'll do is I'll just shut up for a moment and you can listen to it in stereo. general idea the auto offset mode is very good for um, sustained sounds such as this reverb what it's also good for is signals that perhaps already have their own dynamics such as say a drum rhythm or a full synth voice that's already going through its own VCA on its output 
but you just want to play with or add some ducking or tweak the dynamics of that further then uh, yeah the, the auto offset mode will work very well for that so that's about all there is to tell you i mean it's a vca just a couple of extra functions to help with that ducking um so buy one i guess it's very it's very affordable it's only 2 hp you've got very little reason not to so i'll just play it out with a bit more of this see you next time <laughs>